Hello, welcome back to my playthrough on Quest 4, Chapters of the Chosen. And in this episode, I will be starting the town building side quest. So without further ado, it is time to get into it. And if you remember, quite a few uh, episodes ago, uh, I went to um, Hoffman's place and found out that there's a guy in the church of laissez-faire who... Uh, is looking for a place to stay and he's gonna go help out uh, with stuff well she's gonna help out with stuff sorry anyway peace be with you I'm an itinerant nun I set out from my motherland to aid those in need of, in any way I could if I could find myself a fledging settlement somewhere I'm sure I could be of great use to its inhabitants do you want to tell her about Hank Hoffman's Junior's frontier town yes so this is Mr. Hoss so this Mr. Hoffman is establishing a town of his own my humblest thanks. I shall make my way there forthwith. Now we leave. There we go. I could have started doing this at literally any point. But it doesn't matter. So there we go. Howdy there, I've been waiting for you all to come on by. I've just been shooting the breeze with that there sister you done sent down on down there, Phantom. And there's a few folks in town I done invited myself too. Looks like this place is finally starting to get a hustling and a bustling. But there still ain't nothing much more than a cow shed and an outhouse right about now. You just gotta help me out and bring in the folks are flocking into town now, Phantom. And I done thought of the perfect way to get them down here too. But I can't very well stand round out here and tell you all about it. Drop them by my little house on the prairie when you get get yourself a minute. I done built me a little place just nearby. Y'all come on by there and we'll have us a talk all about it. I'll need me a little while to make ready for y'all, so just give me a mosey around town in the meantime. See y'all in a little while. Peace be with you, I am a wandering nun. My heartfelt thanks go to you for teaching me of this place. I have consulted with Mr. Hoffman, and he agrees that I should help you to the best of my ability. I believe I can be of most use to you at Mr. Hoffman's home, so I shall retire there and await your orders. Please take your time and relax to relax and enjoy yourselves. Goddess, go with you. And now we speak to the Frog. Goodness me. I know it is said that the sleepy fox seldom has feathered breakfast, but it is not also true that one slumber invites another. I feel as if I have awoken from a slumber of 1,001 years. Ah, oh, good day, and who might you be? Phantom and esteemed companions, I am most honoured to make your acquaintance. I am but a simple frog, who has by chance learned the language of humankind. Were you aware of the rumour that a magnificent castle once stood upon this very spot? Indeed, in ancient times, this was a thriving bazaar. Alive with nomadic peoples. But now it is no more than the arid expanse you see before you. But the youngsters are aiding in the efforts to restore the, this humble hamlet to its former magnificence. Are you not? I do little but while away my days in idleness here by this pond. Pray come and speak to me again when the town is further restored. Ribbit. So this is uh, step one done. Just got this little bit for now. Bunny tail, lovely. Hey, I'm Rocky. Mr. Hoffman invited me and my lady Adrian to move down here from the big city to start us a new life. All I gotta do is work hard and I'll, all our dreams will come true. All I want is for Adrian to be happy. So that is, of course, a, a Rocky reference from the movies. And obviously you'll know that he goes, Adrian! Which has become a very, uh, I guess, iconic quote, but loads of people say it in a joking way. I sure do. As well as a lot of people, I know. But yeah. As you can see, these patches of grass... Well, these patches of grass are where you're going to eventually find places. And yeah, in that pond down below is whatever remains of the uh, bazaar that used to be there. But you know, anyway. So here's the nun. The beauty of this garden sets my mind at peace. I pray that I can be of use to you in some way. No need to help for now, but you know. Let's go to Hoffman. Well, if it ain't little old Phantom, I just gone and got finished getting everything ready. Well, alright then, first thing we've got to do is give this place 
the kind of name it would get folks flocking here like flies on fertilizer. I done had a few ideas myself, but I just can't settle on one for certain. Tell you what, you know I've been helping me get the place together and all, how's about I let you decide? I'd rattle off a couple of my ideas and y'all can tell me which one you like the best. Here goes. Okay, well first off, I thought about Phantom Town. It's a mighty purdy name, ain't it? Well, I just knew it. Ain't that swell. Phantom Town it is then. Yeehaw. Alright then, we'll name our little township Phantom Town. Agreed? Alright, we got ourselves a town name. Now, let's get down to the real business at hand. Truth of the matter is, I've been having me some chance encounters. I done me some reading of some mighty old books, thinking I might find some stuff us pioneers could make good use of. Seems that out there in the big old world, there's plenty of folks on the same quest as y'all are. Chance Encounters is all about grabbing a hold of them folks, shooting the breeze, learning a thing or two, and making new partners while you're at it. And if you can send a few folks over and bring a new few new folks back from other places, our own town will hear here we'll see a benefit and no mistake. So what do you say? You reckon you might want to pick a pioneering soul to end off ambassadeering? Well, alright then. I'll, I'll get on and explain what this pioneering game is all about. A pioneer is a body hooked by yourself to head on out into the world to learn all there is to learn from the folks in foreign lands. When you send a pioneer on out there, you get a pioneer back from whenever you sent the varmint to. That pioneer, well, they just settle on down and start making a new life for themselves here on Phantom Town. So, the more folks you get out there and have chance encounters with, the more folks you'll end up bringing in to populate this fit here fair city. So, chance encounters are for Wi-Fi connection. Not required for this quest. It's for... Um, I'm guessing it's just... To speed up the process of doing the town thing. But, you know... Uh, I don't really need to do it. But, anyway. First, you've got to choose yourself the type of armament you want to send out for... Pi they're pioneering. Remember, Phantom, this suck will be representing your interests out there, so choose careful now. See, so, I think you have to do this in order to, uh, you know, progress with the uh, side quest, so you know. His name is Boo. And, no. You know, no, genderless. Uh, and they like G DIY. This is his message. Boo. He wants to scare people. Let's go. That's it. There he is. Well, Boo's here and raring to go, so you'll just come on by the ho uh, hollow whenever you want to get the pioneer and started. By the way, you all can send your pioneer out to as many other places as you like, so don't go worrying about spreading them too thin. And old Boo will always be here ready to shoot the breeze with you no matter where you send the varmint, so don't you worry about that neither. Boo. Boo recites the message clearly and carefully. Do you want to change the message? No. Yep. Alright, what can I do for y'all? Uh, few citizens. We've got Bill, Rocky, Adrian, and Frog. And there we go. So I don't think you can get rid of the preset ones, but I think you can, like, use connection to get other players to join. Which would be pretty cool, but... There's no need. Anyway. Need to see if they say anything different. Uh, hey, some travelling salesman comes out of nowhere the other day and starts telling me about this guy. Says he sits around in the church down in Berlin talking about how he wants to start himself a new life someplace else. So there we go. Berlin. So it's in the church, which is up here. Oh, you there, you be a traveller unless I'm much mistaken. So have you heard tell of this fabulous new city of plunder and wonder? I've been itching to weigh anchor and set sail for new shore, so I have. Do you want to know about Hancock's Jewish Town? Yes. Oh, you're yanking me anchor. Such a place really does exist. 
I'll set me a course for that, that their town right away. But shiver me timbers, I'm forgetting I've got a shipmate in tow. The lubber should be down there in the inn. Be a mate and pass on the glad tidings. I think after this it's the couple. You have to go to the dungeon where you get the liquid metal sword. Here he is. Provis Esley. How do there, hound dog? I'm Provis Esley. And I've been travelling this little old world with a companion of mine. But lately I've been getting tired of this old travelling game. I'm hankering for a little less navigation, a little less action. I mean, that's just cringy, but, you know, he's meant to be Elvis. Whatever. Do you want to tell him about Yep, I will tell him. Phantom Town, huh? You know, they say any place is paradise, but that sounds mighty fine to me. Again, cheesy. Thanks very much. Aha uh ha. -huh. Anyway. He's gone. And if you go here... He is gone. And now... We zoom on over. So that is stage two done. So here we go. How did their hound dog and prophetically and I spend my days travelling this little old world and spreading a joyous song. I heard tell that some hard-headed woman on her big hunk of love down went in search of pirate treasure in a big old cave somewhere. If they had done had a dream and they wanted to follow that dream they could have done worse than invest their hopes in this here beautiful boom town so yeah that's the next thing to do but we have got the inn so as you can see every time you get uh new citizens you know you get that anyway mini metal can't forget to do that anyway Yep, I know. This here is treasure. Mini medal! There's a few mini medals scattered around. It's coming on nicely. Is the town you there? Have you heard? Yes. I know. Anyway. You got rubbish for now. Anyway. You there? Have you heard? No. I moved from my previous kingdom to this land of the free, free trade, that is. I hope one of the surrounding countries finds oil or some other resource we need so we can go invade, uh, I mean, democratise them too. Oh dear, dear, dear. Antidotal herb? Some people probably pronounce it as antidotal. But you know. Seed of resilience. And nothing. Hairband. Rubbish. Nothing. Chronicles of Pioneeria. So this is uh, the old bazaar town. What it used to be, Pioneeria. When the town once more becomes a castle, his body shall rise again from the pot in the southwestern room. Then from the depths of the castle, from deep within a treasure chest filled up with pain, his heart shall also shall rise. So that is actually important for the final step of the quest. And finally, the Sultana of Pioneeria's most treasured possession, and a treasure chest locked in a cell, the gift of her beloved king. Oh, how nice. So now that I have completed the main game, you do get, uh... Well, you do unlock the final stage, but might as well just do it all together like this. Anyway, I told you I don't want to talk to you right now. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were Rocky. Oh, they've had a domestic, that's not good. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Anyway, I need the pla I need the uh, cave where you get the uh, liquid metal sword. But 
here we go. So there's the wife. We need the husband now. He's gone further in. Do 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 do. Oh me, oh me, oh my, I'm tired of the wandering life. My husband brought me here, said he wanted to try and find the pirate's treasure. Ain't there a town somewhere I can settle down and live the simple life? Phantom Town, if it's a town that's on the up and up, maybe I could open a shop there. But what would my husband say? He went down into the depths there to see what he could find. I'll get him, mate, I'll get him. He's only here anyway. Howdy, I'm Striolaus or Leo Strauss. If you know who Leo Strauss is. I've been sitting down here in the sand of this here waterfall and having me a good old think. I've been thinking of what them pirates must see when they finally get their hands on a treasure they down set out for. I just don't know the answer, I guess it cause I ain't a pirate myself. Anyhow, I've also been wondering if there ain't somewhere me and my lady wife can settle down. I've been dragging her every which way, poor thing. Hmm, Phantom Town, you say? Well, we visited a few places on our travels, but we ain't fetched up there yet. Thank you kindly, Traveller. We'll head off right away. Phase 3 done. It's just not meant to be difficult, but it's nice and fun. And you know, you know what you're doing as long as you talk to the NPCs. Now, the problems occur if you don't talk to NPCs and you won't know where you're going, but the bigger the town gets, obviously... The harder it can be to find the right NPC, but usually it's just the one that you just added to the town. Anyway, this is the finest little boom town in all the world, Viva Phantom Town. This here's the town's a sp mighty special place, there's all kind of tales in the air and in the ground, and it's all shook up with memories and such. Again with the Elvis puns. You want to hear one of the stories? This one came from up the way down. It's a mighty fine fable, what do you say? Nope. Well, alright then, baby, I don't care. You come by now anytime you change your mind. Yep, cheers. Mini Meadow! So you can see this big building for a start. That's new. So he won't answer yet. Howdy, I'm Zack, and I done retired to this here town to get me some peace. You got business with me, young'un? Didn't think so, now get gone. And if you talk, to, if you say yes, you don't get anything good anyway. Mm, so you done heard the rumours too, huh? I can't rightly say if it's true, but I heard tell of some critter with a whole bunch of legs down there in the jailhouse in Strathbale. So if you go to Stra if you talk to the guy in the prison in Strathbale, he mentions about this mini metal, this uh, creature with many legs that's stealing the food. Anyway, there, there's the next patch of area. Ah, oh, the folks be flocking to the town now, so we're building us a beautiful pioneeratorium. Pioneeratoriums are kind of port of call for pioneers and such like to come and rest their weary bones at the end of their voyage. Once she's finished and all ship shape, we'll be able to welcome all manner of pioneers and wanderers to this town. Yeah, 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 boy. Howdy, I'm Strolaus. I've been sitting here having me a good old think about mirages and such. I reckon maybe the difference in atmospheric temperature might be what takes makes it so as we can see that crazy otherworldly stuff. Of course, these other worlds is only visions and all, but there's plenty crazy things in this old world of ours. So who knows, then pioneers coming to town could even have come through mirages from other worlds. Maybe. Ah, phew. Ah, oh, greetings, Phantom. I trust you are well. If Phantom Town can come this far, it's certainly no fancy to think that it could one day retain its former pal palatial form. And I shall certainly do my utmost to help make the citizens' lives easier in any way that I'm able. Oh, incidentally, have you investigated the bookshelf in the house in the northeast of the town? I have heard tell that there is a book there which details the legend of the might, major, mighty city that once stood in this very spot. Yes, it did. Yes. So here's the shop. 
Welcome to the arm shop, blah, blah, blah. So she disappears after a while. Well, after the final transformation, which is the biggest one. But anyway, let's go to Strathbale. Sorry, is the sound gone? Exit the game menu. There we go. Got me sand back. I remember getting confused about this one and because I, I checked the prison and it weren't in there. But I think you have to do it like well, you have to talk and then it can be a bit finicky. But anyway, burp, my good, my goodness, is it a dream? Fantastic! The door's open. Did you do this? I don't know how to thank you, but I'm a criminal. Oh, if only there was somewhere a poor injured slime like me could start a goo life and live in peace. But why goo this to myself? There's no such place. That sounds great. I could goo to a place like that and start a new life because nobody would know what a bad slime I've been. Thank you very much. I'll try not to goo anything bad again. See you next slime. Fancy that? Pretending you're wanting to go off and start a new life. Just so you can get out in jail and go off on another crime spree. Hmm. Oh. But there's no such thing as a victimless slime, you can. I'll be in all kinds of trouble for this. They're slippery customers, though. This has happened slime after slime. Maybe they're helping each other out. You can, like, organise slime. You're an idiot, mate. Just shut up. Anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Alright, so that's phase four done. And now, oh yes, this as well. The church is here now. But, you know, I don't need to do that. See, so the town's flocking nicely. Ah, oh, this here be the Pioneeratorium. It is built to welcome weary pioneers like a pot at the end of a long and perilous journey. Sail on, and, sail on in and have yourself a look, me arty. Okay. Seed of wisdom. Nothing special. Nothing special. There's nothing here either, but you know. That's fine. Right. So yeah, there's only one more phase left, I believe. Howdy, I'm sure lads have been sitting there having me a good old think about other worlds we come across when we have them their chance encounters. More well, of you in a varmint next to you seem like you was living in the same world when in fact you wasn't in the same world at all. Or what if the world as you see it is entirely different to how others see the derned thing? Sheesh, once I start thinking like that, the more I think, the less I seem to understand. I guess that's one of the things that makes this whole life a challenge and a pleasure all at once. Yep. Anyway, let's visit him. I wanted to make my rocky beautiful froggy fracasse for his dinner, but I couldn't find the freaking fracasse's fundamental fix in a frog. Oh, I'm a failure. I went down to the pond to catch that freaking frog, but I guess I just missed the little guy. Hey, by the way, I've been hearing about a guy in some bar in Havre Leon. Talking about wanting to be a king or something. This town's gone from nothing to being a real contender. I figure we get us a king now, and the castle won't be too long following. And I think there's a princess that... Uh, wants to come over and just start a, a non-royal life. So you've got Harvey Leon for the king. And I forgot the other, I forgot where you get the other one. But you have to actually get the dialogue first anyway. Welcome to the armor shop. Let's see what you got. I mean it's decent but it's not good enough. Mighty sorry I ain't quite done it, it this yet. If you give me just a little more time, I'll have it done real soon. And oh, hey, it's you. Uh, it was nothing. Never mind. Just thought you want something else. Oh, that's all. Okay. 
bit suspicious, I do say. You there, have you heard? No. I heard somewhere that the moon only exists when you're looking at it. But I think that kind of thing is just people getting their minds in a muddle. Anyway. Whatever. Mini medal! So as you can see, there's a mini medal where the dog is each time. And I believe the frog and the slime is down here. Do -do 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 -do. It's like a labyrinth now. Seed of life. Oh, there's another mini medal! So many mini medals. So many. So many. But, ooh, that frog looks so tasty. I just want to globble him up. Oh, hello. It's a, uh, yes, the town is, um, yes, it's a lovely place. I was just, uh, yes, I was just saying hello to my new neighbour, Mr. Frog there. Isn't he delish? Uh, I mean, um, delightful. <laughs> Phantom, you are truly a saver of lives. I had stepped out for a hop around town to look at the magnificent developments that have occurred, and then, to think, I was mere moments from being eaten up and my bones shattered to the four winds. Horse manual. Mm, 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 mm. A fire claw. An extremely good weapon, but only Elena can have it, so what's the point? And I need to, you know, find out about that other NPC. So we've got half a Leon for a king. I don't remember the other one anyway. Let's listen to your song this time. Hound frog, yep, of course. It's been all shook up by some kind of monster down underground there. Yeah, Mary Curie, that's what the uh, slime's called, because why not? Oh, idiot, I didn't mean to do that. Do -do -do -do. Do -do. How do you do? I'm archaeologist, and I've come to f this fine old town to do me some digging for ancient treasure, so I have. Well, I mean, oh, you wanted to hear the tale of old pioneer yet? No. Anyway, this princess is wanting a protector. Good day to you, I'm Princess Pam. I was bored of life in the palace, so I decided to escape and come here. It's so peaceful without that old fool prattling at me all the time. I think I could live here forever. But if one is to live here for good, it would be prefer preferable to have a well-appointed palatial bedchamber and perhaps some guards also. Speaking of which, when I was passing through laissez-faire, I did chance across a young man who was training as a guardsman. So laissez-faire and Harvey Leon, and then that will be... Side quest done. And then I can explore the town to its fullest. And then you are. It must be ten years now since I decided to become a king. I've travelled all over the world, but I never found a kingdom yet that would let me rule over it. There must be a kingdom somewhere lacking a king. Phantom Town, eh? An up-and-coming town like that is sure to need a king. Or a dem democratically elected president. Thank you so much. I'll make my way there straight away. I'll go to laissez-faire. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 God, he could be anywhere. I think I've just gone and found him, though. You came here over the ocean? Does so anyone have seen the rocky island where the monsters live? None. No one has ever come back alive from that place. It is best to observe it from afar. Maybe not, then. But in here. But ben, venue to the Via to the Laissez Faire. If you're looking for Manager Artois, he is down below. As there is no one good enough to follow Tom Foolery, he was an act par excellence. I have no choice. I will have the headline to the dancing girls and the singers like I did before. Anyway, 
Let's go find this guard. Uh, not in there. About down here. Well, well, well. There is nothing down there. Nope. Wait, I think it's in the inn, isn't it? Yep, here he is. Greetings, sir. Uh, parts, private, first class, reporting for duty, sir. For many years now, my body has been a weapon ready to use in service of its country. But I have not yet identified which country, sir. Phantom Town. Sir, understood, sir. Parts, private, first class, requesting permission to move out, sir. Thank you, sir. And now... We go back, and this is side quest done. So now it is Palais de Leon. No, I'm joking, it isn't, but you know. So yeah, everything's changed. One of the shops is gone, but you know. Greetings, sir, and welcome to Phantom Town Castle, sir. Welcome, sir. Sir, the king will see you now, sir. Oh, man, I always wanted to say that. Why, howdy there, I'm Mr. Ned, the talking horse. Hey, guess what? I don't remember how I came to be here, and how comes I can talk like a human being. It all, uh, it all came gall gall galloping back to me. I used to work here in this castle, the greatest city in the world, Pioneeria. And this castle we got here now is just the spit of the one we had in them days. They couldn't be mere like. Anyways, I knowed about that there cursed pot, so I done trotted up to try and tell Sultan Farog. But that evil sorcerer caught me on the hoof and, well, that's when I got turned into a horse. But hey, I can talk now and I kind of live like living stallion style. <laughs> so you've got, you have the Sultan Falog. Uh, from the old pioneer. You know, here's Rocky and Adrian. We've been through all kinds of problems, but I'm glad we moved out here. Seems Adrian's kind of used to it now too and we got a... Baby coming soon, man, I feel like the heavyweight champion of the freaking world. You know, I guess I'm pretty happy with my life right now. I just hope I can spend the rest of my days like this with me, Rocky. He's my hero. Isn't that noise? Oh, did that? Uh, I don't know, I'm just so happy anyway. It yeah, whatever. Any good armor? Yep, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so that's first floor done. Actually, you know, you got this bit first, but you know. So here's the king. Hello there, it's me. I'm king. I told you about Phantom Town in the pub of, in Harvey Leon. I'm so glad I came here. I've been so happy since I became king. So yeah, that takes you outside, which is not where you want to be. If you want to get anything done. Anyway. Mini Mad. Mini medal, so many mini medals, oh mini medals, so many, so many, well now let's see if the odds for that race are going to be, hey what do you think you're doing, can't you see I'm busy, talk to me later, yeah let's go up, second floor, so there's Princess Pam, Good day to you, I'm Princess Pam. It's so lovely to come from one palace to another and I have such a gorgeous room. If only there was a handsome prince as well, I think it would be perfect. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the regal bedrooms, I think. 
but you know. Anyway, that's something sneaky. St stairs behind there. So here we have got a Ruby of Protection. Very good for defence. We have got a Miracle Sword. Good, but it's not the Falcon Sword. So, you know. Mirror Shield. And that one is empty. The bright line shines forth from the depths of the chest. So remember that chest about the soul? And then you have the magic pot. Oh, this is going to cause something to happen. So release Sultan Farag's heart from its prison. Once his body is released also, the Sultan can finally return. So yep, I'm going to bring the Sultan to us. And yeah, here's the second casino. You get some mega moolah from this, but I don't need to bother with it. Do, 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 do. I guess I want to come down here, though. Get me. Mini Meadow! Howdy, I'm Zach, and I've done retired to this here town to get me some peace. I thought I'd be retiring here and be living a few years before making my peace and pass. Seen on quietly. If you'd ever told me I'd live to see the day the castle came back from under that there desert, I'd call you crazy. Oh, by the by, the by you heard what it says in that there book with the legend about this whole town? Well, I'll tell you. When the town once more becomes a castle, his body shall rise again from the pot in the southwestern room. Then, from the depths of the castle, from deep within a treasure chest filled with pain, his heart shall also rise. Finally, the Sultana of Pioneer's most treasured possession in a treasure chest locked in a cell, the gift of her beloved king. Yes, sirree, that's what it says. I know that, mate. I know that. A meteorite bracer. Lovely. And this is where you're going to find Mary Curie. What's going on? Where did you find my favourite damp spot? You. Oh, burp. Yep, you uh, kind of uh, drank all the water that made it damp. And it's not damp anymore, it's dry. Well done. Anyway, it actually took me a fair time to notice that. This is pretty clever. But you know. It's one of those things where once you've seen it once, it's so obvious to you. But again, you have to see it, you know. But anyway, before I go to uh, the bottom left flight of stairs that you get on the first floor, I'll come up to here. Can't believe I've been lucky enough to be here right from when this place started way down as a little village to now, when it's a bona fide boom city. I guess if one night I happen across a real nice spot, I might build a town of my own and do it my way. Hi, I'm Hannibal. I used to be the leader of a crack pioneering commando unit. By rights, I should have been swallowed down with the castle when that sandstorm had happened. Anyway, I'm back now and I just can't wait to knuckle down and break the rest of my unit out of their maximum security stockade and get to work. Greetings, Phantom. You have finally brought the city from its humble origins to this most stately and palatial form. It is the very image of the castle that once stood on this spot in the days of Pioneeria. Perhaps that which is stolen from me by the monsters can be located somewhere in the depths of this castle also. I can tell you no more at the moment, but I believe most fervently that you can help me. Yes, there's only one more thing to find for you, mate. Anyway, howdy, I'm Strio Laos. I've been sitting out of me. Yep, you're saying the same bloody stuff over and over again. So yeah, like the Pioneeratorium and all that stuff has kind of disappeared now, but never mind. Plenty more pioneer stuff in the sea. As they say. Definitely. Definitely say it. Anyway. Let's go here. So, of course, do you see the pots in the southwestern side of the room there? Of course. That's what I'll be interacting with, but first... Mini Metal! 
And there we go. A bright light shines forth from the depths of the pot. So, Phantom releases Sultan Farog's body from its prison. If you think about it, you can get it. Sultan, Sultan Farog, Frog. If you say Farog fast, it sounds like Frog. There you go. In case you didn't know before, now you know. And the more you know as well, the more you know. Here he is. Greetings, Phantom. I am very pleased to meet you for this uh, first time. I am Sultan Farog. I once ruled over this castle, but in my foolishness, I lost the woman I loved, and my home was swallowed by the sands of the desert. But this new life you have given me, Phantom, shall I not waste. This I shall not waste. I shall help the most excellent town folk of Phantom Town to protect and serve their humble homeland. So there we go. Quest done. Quest over. Now I'm going to handy mini medals, go to the azimuth, and... Oh, right, first... And then, you know, get ready to do the bonus dungeon. Anyway, well, if it ain't old Phantom and company, howdy all. I came running on up here as soon as I seen what was happening to my dear old town. I wanted it to grow into the mightiest city the world ever saw. Instead, it gone done, turned into a big old castle. Well, ain't much I can do about that now, huh? Alright then, I'm off back to my little old shack. Y'all be sure and come by and see me once in a while. You hear? Don't be strangers now. So long, partners. Why are you going to complain that your town turned into a castle? Surely that is better. It looks grander, you know, well, more grand, P people are going to flock in, you know, they're going to want to visit. What are you complaining about it, my friend? Anyway. <laughs> Come on then, Minikin, I need to give you all these mini medals. Lovely. I don't need that, but let's just get it anyway. Ruby of Protection, yep. 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 Yep, yep, yep. And there we go, for the mini medals, I must have got about at least 10 today, I did get quite a lot to be honest. And what happened to that dog that's pointing out all the mini medal locations, I don't know. But anyway, let's go to the azimuth. That's not what I wanted, but never mind. It's better at night time anyway. Anyway. So yeah, now there's a massive hole here. This is where the post-game bonus dungeon takes place. Open your ears to the voice of the goddess as I have done. A, p a path has been opened before us. And that very night... The night of the deafening roar that shook the ground under our feet, the Almighty One forged a path. But whither does it lead? The holy envoy of the goddess, the master of Zenithia, will not answer me. Zenith Dragon, what does this mean? So, that marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of Dragon Quest IV, Chapter of the Chosen. And the only thing left to do now, uh, or well, that I can do, is to go through the extra slash bonus dungeon that has appeared for chapter 6 and it's a very long dungeon there's going to be multiple different like paths and stuff there's going to be just one main path and you're just going to get little bits you can go to uh, explore every now and then if you want to and yeah there's like I think 5 separate sections you've got the cave area a weird grassy area with a lot of bridges and then past like the first inn you've got the fire cavern then you've got this weird uh well it kind of looks like i don't know some form of maze and then you've got another break you actually unlock a fast travel location and then you've got the fifth and final area which is like a massive climb up to a mountain 
And then once you've climbed up the mountain and defeat the boss, I'll be able to finish, well, start finishing the post game by unlocking an item in an area. But I'm not going to say much about that yet. But, as I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you later for Resident Evil 4 on the professional difficulty. But until then, for a massive thumbs up, I'll see you now is goodbye and good night.